Okay, hey, welcome to another episode of DMK Honey Creek Bees. Tonight is, uh, this is August the, August the 4th, and has, we, you've probably seen our previous videos, and we lost our hive last year to colony collapse disorder. Due to probably our own inexperience and the failure to properly treat our hives for varroa mites. So this year, we decided to do something different. Um, we we went, we looked at all our options, and we looked at the vaporizers, and we even bought a vaporizer for the oxalic acid, and had to mix it with the the pure grain alcohol, and it just didn't. It just was too complicated, and they said that the machine would would gunk up with the pure grain alcohol or something. So we decided to go a different route. So we bought the OxyVap ProVap 110. OxyVap ProVap 110. And just from looking at all the videos, um, there's a guy who had a video, and God, I can't think of his name. I'll put it in the, I'll put it in down below <laughs> when I uh, when we upload this. But anyway, he uh, his video, I really liked the way this machine worked. So we're going to treat our hives this way, and. As you can tell, it's night now, so we wanted to. I did a lot of reading again, and, and it it was different takes on whether you do it in the morning or whether you do it in the afternoon or night or whether the bees are there or they're not there, and it just looked like it all came down to dealer's choice. So we decided to do ours on a Sunday night when all the bees are in, um, and. That way, that the, the the mites that are outside any capped brood will be, you know, treated today, and then we're going to treat again in seven days, and treat again in seven days after that. So, anyway, I've got my machine set up. I've got my oxalic acid in it, and here's so here we get. I'm gonna I'm gonna treat. And as you can see, I, I have my respirator because I'm a wise man. <laughs> So without further ado, this is what we're going to do. I've already got my ProVap 110 plugged up. It's sitting right here. And it's already 230 degrees. So what I'm going to do is just flip it over. And tell them that little thing you made there. That's got the hole in it. So what I did was I made a... Uh, uh, uh. Well, I'll show you here. here. Here's our feeder. So I just made another one of these without the without the cups in it. I drilled a quarter one quarter inch hole here, and that's what uh, that's what I just stuck that in. And you just wait until it's through, and it should be about three right now. And Karen can't really come in, <laughs> but uh, it comes with this little scooper thing. This is a half a teaspoon. You put one quarter teaspoon per brood chamber. So since we got two brood chambers, we put a whole half a scoop in, a little white thing. So what I'm going to do, and you can just go down the line if you've got, but you know, we've only got these few hives right now. Uh, so this is done. So I'm just going to take this off. And I'll put new, I'll put new acid in it. And it'll be ready for the next hive. So now that I've done that, all I'll do is take this back out. Oh, there's a hive beetle. Dead hive beetle. Put our feeder back in. And it's done.
Now on to the next one. Now this next one is a new is a new uh, Derbyville hive. And so I think what I'll do is just pull this out. That's a problem. <laughs> That's gonna need some <laughs> that's going to need some Houston. That's going to need some fixing. We have a problem. I don't know how we're going to get that out of there. Ah, uh, we'll figure something out. Well, that's a problem. I think what I'll do is I'll just lift this up in, stick it right under there. So hey. we'll, do, we'll do that. Because this won't fit here because it's a different it's a different size. These are different sizes. So, get back out of here. So, just going to take this. Lift this up, stick it right there, turn it over. It's got enough, it'll get enough in there that, that they will, uh, they will be treated. All right. And that's it. So thank you for, uh, viewing our, uh, our video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Have a good one. Be happy. Be happy. <laughs>